to come home and relax, loosen his tie, and read the paper, in his case, the New York Times. The difference is he calls it up on this Apple II computer. He never has to go and buy it. Sometimes he even reads stories that they don't show on the national newspapers because they've decided to edit them out. Well, tonight we're going to find out how Marty and a lot of other Americans are learning that computers are not anything frightening. They can be a part of your total lifestyle. In the 1960s, computers started a revolution in business and government around the world. There's a new revolution today in private family homes, the home computer. For $300 to $3,000, people are now using smaller, less complex units in the handling of their daily affairs. This is called a computer on a chip, and they're the heart of all the computers, the microcomputers, the, the home computers that you see today in the market. And uh, basically, this fellow here has the equivalent of 300,000 transistors in logic. So they've made available computing to the masses, computing to the people. And the masses are buying home computers, according to Rick Inatome, general manager of the Computer Mart in Clawson, Michigan. Along with the boom in sales and use of home computers, there's been a boom in the last two or three years in the availability of the instructions upon which the computers operate. This allows use by all members of the family. This is a diskette. and loads into the computer's memory, and then the computer can execute the series of instructions called the program. According to sales figures at the computer mark, Rick explains, about 50% of the microcomputers being bought are being used in businesses. I can raise the price of, say, our selling price of stereo A. And we can see how the income statement changes. It's up to 18,000 now. And we can get this printed out. Small business accounting, as well as home budgeting and correspondence, are some of the uses for today's home computers. Nonetheless, it would be hard to resist using the many games made for the machines. Companies such as Atari make space games with ray cannons, armed spaceships, and flying asteroids. Also in high gear are the educational...